Welcome to Stingray Chevrolet. I'm Steve Hurley, and today we're going to take a look at our latest acquisition, a 1972 old 442 with a 350 and a four-speed transmission. Let's go take a ride. So here we are in our 1972 Olds 442, again with a 350 cubic inch Oldsmobile engine and four speed. This is a really, really special car and it's so clean. So this car has factory air conditioning and it's just 20,000 original miles. Someone really took care of this car. Everything on this car looks brand new. Black car classic black carpet, black dash, white bucket seats and door panels, white headliner. I just can't believe this car only has 20,000 miles. It's so smooth driving too. So we had this car about five years ago and I have a dealer friend in Texas and we share which cars we have with each other and he lost his mind when he saw this car. He just could not believe this Pinehurst Green 1972 442 could look this good and have only 20,000 miles. So he bought the car from me, kept it a while, and then he sold it to one of his good customers. He enjoyed it for a while, didn't put any miles on it hardly, and then he traded it back and I just found out a couple of weeks ago that he had the car back and I asked him if I could buy it, and so I bought it back. It's such a smooth driving car for its age. The paint is just nearly flawless. I mean, it's almost a show quality. Probably better paint because it has been refinished. Even though it doesn't have many miles, it's still a 50-year-old car. So when they refinished it, it's probably better than new paint. Again, it's Pinehurst Green, which is sort of a celery green. And I just can't describe how nice it drives. You can hear a little bit of a squeaky clutch pedal, but that's just to pet the pedal. Uh, but all the instrumentation works. We've got your temperature, oil pressure gauge on the far left. In the center, we've of course got the speedometer, and it shows 20,506 miles. And on the right, we have something that uh, us old guys like to call a tick-tock tack, which means that it's a clock that's inside the tachometer. I really like the styling of this Oldsmobile steering wheel with the four spokes. Really racy looking. Got the original AM radio. You can see these vents. When it's factory air conditioning, it has these centered in dash vents like this. And it's probably a 85, 90 degree afternoon right now, and we're driving feeling comfortable. We've got all this greenhouse glass area. None of the windows have more than a factory tent at most. So they're clear, and we're riding comfortably. The trunk has been refinished with the original style GM spatter paint, and it's got the spare tire, which is bias ply, just like the original tires would have been on this car. It's got Firestone Sport 500 tires that are bias ply style tires, probably purchased at Coker, which is where we get most of our original style tires. So it's got five of the original type tires with the car. It's got the original style decals with the jacking instructions up under the uh, deck lid of the trunk. And under the hood, it's got that 350 cubic inch big block engine with a functional hood scoop. It's actually got a dual hood scoop with white stripes on the hood. And the frame of the hood was made steel like the rest of the panels on the car. However, the top of the hood where the fiberglass or where the hood scoops are, are fiberglass. And then it's got an actuator that opens it up to the carburetor to get fresh air in. So it's a functional Ram Air style hood scoop from the 1970s. It's just a rare find to find something like this with this low mileage and this nice. This is a car that we have advertised at Stingray Chevrolet for only $49.9. You couldn't possibly make this car look like this for twice the money. It's that nice. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on TikTok and Instagram. See you next time.
enjoy the day.